What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me and welcome to the Snowman Movie Review. God, this actually has to go down as like one of the worst weekends in my film history life. Like this, holy shit man, this movie fucking sucked. <laughs> so this movie is uh, directed by Thomas or Thomas Alfredson. And it stars Michael Fassenbender, Rebecca Ferguson, Charlotte Gainsbourg, a lot of uh, other people. A lot of really good actors, actually. And it's so strange that this movie just turned out to be so fucking horrible. I just don't get it. I would love to see the behind the scenes of this. I've heard that he said, the director said he's, he was rushed. We don't really know. We can't say for sure. But what we got here was a pretty bad product and that sucks because unlike geostorm this movie looked like it was going to be actually great like that trailer to me i was like oh this looks really cool michael fassenbender murder mystery something with putting snowmen and chopping them i'm in i'm in let me see i want to watch this and oh god oh god it's so so bad and really really boring now i won't have any spoilers in this movie review however we have uh God, I can't even believe this is his name. Michael Fassenbender's character name is Harry Hole. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? <laughs> Harry Hole. Okay, Harry Hole. <laughs> Mr. Harry Hole. How are you doing? Um, You're in a pretty fucking bad movie, Mr. Harry Hole. Um, <laughs> so, Harry Hole is a uh, guy who's a drunk and um, there's a, a, a plot that's very convoluted and confusing and doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and um, he stars in this movie. God, God, I don't even know where you start with this. This is a pretty... <laughs> Let me just say some good things about this movie first. I actually like the shots in this movie. There's a lot of pretty cool looking shots in this movie that I was watching and I was like, yeah, that looks good. Looks good, but sadly, it's a good-looking movie with no substance. Absolutely nothing is going for it. Uh, I do like Michael Fassenbender, but I just... It's because I like to see him talk and shit, but he's not like... His performance is... Like, everyone is very monotone and boring. This is the most... No joke, this is the most boring movie I've seen all year. And I don't like to say that. Like, I think boring is just such an easy word to say. Oh, why didn't you like it? It was boring. Why was it boring? Guys, I mean, it was boring. I mean, it was literally boring. Everything dragged on and kept dragging on. I, 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 like, pulled my eyelids to stay awake. Like, it was so hard to stay awake. But I did. I made it through the whole movie awake. And if it was dragging for so long, I think this movie is almost two hours, but it felt like longer than Blade Runner. And Blade Runner is two hours and 43 minutes. This movie felt excruciating long it's painfully boring and i mean it it is painfully boring the plot does not make sense it doesn't it, you, you just start to get these different plot points about who's the who's the guy killing people and and you just oh uh, god no one it just uh it fucking sucks guys it just sucks because this is a movie that i wanted to like really did it looked like it could have been really good and that's why it's more disappointing for me when i see this movie because i thought it really would be good <sighs> except it's not man it's just not it's it's really fucking bad it's boring oh god i hate to say that but it is genuinely boring it is very slow paced to a point that it just comes to a drag and it just stops and it never picks up absolutely never except i will say the ending um, there's a few moments in the ending that I was kind of enjoying because I was like, oh, this is where the thrilling part is. I like this. But everything else is so slow and there's no thrill to it. The whole like buildup of Michael Fassenbender on chasing some fucking murderer, it never happens in this movie. It never happens except for like the last two minutes. And that I actually enjoyed. But at the same time, I was kind of like, eh, it's kind of anticlimactic. I feel like it's just, it's a very bad movie, sadly, with a lot of really good actors that just, they get they get nothing, you know? They get nothing to work with. And it's just, sadly, a really fucking bad movie. Overall, I'm going to give The Snowman a 2 out of 10. 
this this movie was garbage, guys. I don't want to say that, but yeah, it was it was it was pretty much garbage. It was very garbage. Like genuinely, it was a struggle for me to stay up. But the reason I'm giving it the two points is because one for the shots. I think the shots were pretty nice. No, well, actually, one point nine of those points are for the shots, and point one is for like the the ending two minutes or something like that. One of those two minutes I thought were kind of enjoyable. Um, and I like Michael Fassbender to see him on the screen and just talk, but like he's given nothing and it's just all the characters are bad and it's just such a slow movie that does not know its own pace. It just, oh God, guys, it drags on and on and on and on and on and now it's gone. I, I just quoted Macklemore, but uh, yeah, guys, it just oh god, don't watch this movie, please. Did you watch it? Did you like it? I, I don't think you did. <laughs> and did. Did you not like it? Yeah, you probably didn't. And yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below. This movie was absolute garbage. Um, oh god, Geostorm bad, Foreigner was bad, this is bad, and now I got Jigsaw to go to and. Uh, I've never seen a Saw film, but I've heard they're pretty bad. But we'll see. We'll see if they're good. Uh, thank you for your service. And go watch Only the Brave in Blade Runner. Hopefully, thank you for the, your service. will be good also. But we'll see. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Don't let the snowman get you. God, I don't even know what to say. This movie is fucking garbage. Garbage.